And then, of course, in, in, in college, I did have that job. I got to be waiter. Uh, that was a way of getting food in a, in, a, in a period when we had rationing. That was during the war. war. If you were in a d dorm situation where they had all the women in the dorm, their, all their rations got pooled. You can run a mess when you had a large number of people. A lot easier than you can run a four-people family with four rations. That's not... It's just not going to go very far, you see? So basically, uh, uh, it was a wonderful... And of course, the job, the only pay you got was food. Did the job, and they provide you with three meals a day. It was, it was a good job, because I you worked about 25 hours of time and doing the job. And then and then you got free food. Well, it was my first job at being in charge of anybody. As I told you before many times, uh, it was a perfect job because people worked for the food. I worked for the house mother who served the people there like she wanted and as the head waiter. And then, of course, I could, I had, like, what, let's see, we had probably about uh, 10 or 12 waiters. And I could, if a guy wasn't doing what I wanted, I could say, you've had your last meal here. And he was gone. I could just hire another person. I, I had complete control over him. There was no money involved. They just were eating there. Uh, I, I liked develop teamwork. Make everybody help everybody. And uh, and that's the way I started. I when I first started, I learned to be a waiter. And then I started helping the guy next to me. And then pretty soon that it found out that that worked pretty good. And the and the, and the people started to do it. And the house mother made me the head waiter after about two or three months. Then I really had could develop them. And the guys found out that if they cooperate, everything went smoother when we were trying to pick up food, pick up dishes to put them on the table, uh, to serve the people, to you know, get the dirty dishes done. I mean, when we cooperated, everything went a lot smoother. And of course, they I told them they had to cater to the cooks because they're the ones that provide us with the food as we need it. And of course, the guy at the farther end of the mess hall got to be get food first because he had the farthest distance to go to serve and so forth. And, and uh, that's where we usually put the senior waiters anyway, because they were better at it. And uh, it, was, it was a good job for me because it taught me to get people to work together. And, and I found out that working together is the way to do it. Don't let individualists, if you got an individualist that wouldn't follow the, the rules, he was usually gone within a week or so. We just got another person. 